you guys hey thanks for joining me so i just wanted to share a poem it's called are we better off i feel like jerry Maguire with my manifesto are we better off now surrounded by technology and automation that does everything for us in houses with controlled temperatures removed from nature health insurance to take care of every pain stores offer food for every palate i wonder are we better off we may have lost touch with reality, heading into a new world, a simulation perhaps, where everyone is boxed into a set of criteria for happiness. One may question, is it not better to be uncomfortable, to feel the pain, to know risk and reward, to live out under the stars in the real world, without the certainty of a device always connected in our pocket? We can rely on what God has already given us, the awesome gift of our guardian angels, and the promise that he's always with us. A notion that we are dreaming and striving for what is really in our hearts, not streaming and vying for a faster internet connection or better TV. Making goods instead of buying imitation plastic alternatives. I mean, is it wood or a sticker that looks like wood? Anyone else have a problem with this? I want real. Would we starve or be less happy making a go relying on more of God's providence? and less on the gains of the Dow Jones. Even the sparrows and the lilies speak to this. Or to stare at the sunset or a spring flower with dew rather than a piece of glass that I now find I have to squint at to make out the words on the screen. I can't help to ask myself, are we better off? Are we better off with all the noise? I doubt it as if I find myself agitated and distracted when sitting alone in front of the Blessed Sacrament. When did I become so foreign to myself? Can I no longer sit in silence? I'm so worn out by all the things I have to do, all the activities, yet no one seems happy to be doing them. I understand that life is a struggle, but I feel we make it heavier without knowing why. The answer is simple, we are slaves. Slaves to a master who cinches the chains ever so slightly with each connected day. Our families are breaking apart, and for answers we turn to the experts, calling to us through our devices. This talking head pleading with us to pull back the reins of screen time, I think to myself, well that was good. When it pups another video for more great info, keeping me engaged on the very thing I'm trying to break free of. Oh, and subscribe below. Put it down, man, go outside. Even though it's the dead of winter, God's design is still out there. Are we better off inside next to an oscillating heater or out in the elements that remind us we are still alive? We are broken, but my God knows our hearts and is calling us back, beckoning to us not to forget him. He will not be shouting over the radio. He will be there in the silence. So as you read this on your smartphone, staring at your small square, swiping away the notifications, pulling you away to some promise of a better whatever. Are we better off? Thanks for listening. And you don't have to subscribe.